Good morning, Mexico! We have arrived. Welcome to our, our womb. Um, it's very honeymoon-esque, I can't <laughs> lie. Um, so, ella es mi prima, so a bit, bit awkward, to be honest. But yeah, stunning open shower, can we see? Let me turn another light on. There are many lights in here. Wow, look at this open shower. And this, the toilet does have a door, luckily, so that's nice. A nice big bed. I'm sure what this is for, use your imagination. It's a good one. It's a nice big TV. It's currently 7 a.m. We landed about six, but didn't get to the hotel until like a lot later. We just had a drink, some papa fritas, and then went to bed. So now we're up early and we're ready for the day. We have a beach club booked in. We're going to Taboo, which is like the most well-known beach club in the Tulum area. Um, quite expensive, we believe, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and explore, go to the gym for a bit perhaps, and then have some breakfast. Breakfast is included, I think. Yeah. Yeah, breakfast is included, so that's good. And then, yeah, to Taboo, so. So fun, so fun. Oh, I look deceased. I look deceased. That's fine. Okay, see you soon. So we went to gym and we got a bit sweaty. We're still in our sweaty gym clothes. And we're just on our walk to breakfast. Sorry, I've got much in my hands. Oh, there we go. Uh, I cannot multitask. And it's 8 a.m. So we've done a we've done a workout. 8.05 and I'll show you where we go for breakfast. Wings of the bar, which is fun, um, and the cenote, the cenote. Um, we can't go in until 11 because of the the cultural what traditions? Cultural? It's the Maya myths or something, Mayan myths, Mayan legends, um, because it's the key to the underworld. So we're avoiding that. Um, we're probably going there anyway, but it's so nice. This is where we come for breakfast. So our breakfast is included, which means we get uh, a coffee, a juice, pastries, one starter and one main. Wow, stunning. And then we're just looking at this all the time. So nice, it's so nice. A bit cloudy today, but that's okay. We're gonna be boozing up in the, in the beach club, in the beach club. Whoa. I got some fruit, Alice got the chia pudding, we've got some toast. I finished my, this, this was a flat white, it was, it was more of an espresso with milk, but it was good, it was nice. So fun! We're off to the pool, and by we, I mean Alice is already there. I thought I, oh, this is the issue with like cheap sheen bikinis. The white bit always shows, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I thought I left my Kindle. But I didn't, it was in my bag and foolish of me to think I would go anywhere about this Kindle. I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, but the third book, because I don't know what the others, I don't know what the books are called, I just know the first one. Um, finished the second one on the plane, oh my god, life changing, probably the best book I've ever read, <laughs> probably. Um, so that's super fun. And yeah, oh, I'm just going to get a towel. And then a Whoa. Oh. So yeah, you can't go in the cenote until 11 but we found that there is another pool a pool a small a very small pool and like a jacuzzi hot tub so we're gonna go there for the morning well for an hour or so and then we're gonna go to taboo beach club so fun so we're staying at the shibari hotel in tulum and it is 
very very fabulous it's quite new i think it's only been open for eight months but it is stunning um it's very like honeymoon couple vibes but that's absolutely fine we don't mind yeah so very excited um we've got like a butler who has our whatsapp and we're just like getting him to like book everything for us which is really nice um yeah, we're gonna have to tip him a lot at the end tipping is important here it would seem um yeah so fun this is the pool area and there is my cousin hello cousin la prima ella ella is my prima maybe who knows whoa this is the room it's so much more of a mess now which makes me so sad um but i'm about to have a shower um in the very open like <laughs> um there's no door it is see-through um so that's fun but alice is down by the pool for a little bit so i have a little bit of time before she comes in and sees my naked body Woo, we're on the beach we're at taboo beach club and we're just gonna shamelessly take instagram photos but there's lots of other people doing it so it's not it's not bad <laughs> it's like borderline still god just get my whole breast out um yeah it's it's giving could still be drunk unsure <sighs> we had the best day yesterday <laughs> the best day <laughs> like i'll cry i'll cry just thinking about it i'm so sorry that i look like this but this is just this is the reality um the best day so we went to taboo beach club immaculate vibes loved it um it was amazing made i don't know if it's better with the sunglasses on i'm so sorry let's let's just do this you go here and i'll just go over here so let's have a catch up so yeah we went to um we went to taboo it was great. It was bloody expensive. I've got a massive bite on my mouth. Um, so it was fabulous. Had the best time. Um, so I'm, just, I'm just all over the place. So, um, Taboo was so good. So fun. Um, really fun. We made many friends. Um, made friends with the two girls from California that were sit, sat next to us and we got like really cute like pictures of all four of us like frolicking in the ocean like so fun so fun so yeah befriended them befriended a, a group of guys who all had hats on they were fun um one of the, the the girls from California one of them was reading the same book that I'm reading a court a court a court of thorns and roses a guitar whatever it is um, I'm on book three. She was reading book three. She's like on chapter 13 and I'm on chapter four. And like she, she didn't have it out. I just saw it in her bag and I was like, <gasps> I was like, oh my God, you're reading it. And she was like, yeah. I was like, I've just started book three. And like, we were both just like screaming at each other. Like an alliance was formed. Like we, we bonded, a, a bond was, yeah. You can't break that bond. And um, we were both very excited um, and her friend and Alice, um, my friend, her friend and my friend were just like looking at us like, what the fuck? I was like, ah, best book ever. Anyway, so we did that, had loads of drinkies, many, many drinkies, very drunk, um, had the best time, left there, got back to the hotel at like seven, um, tried to freshen up slightly, and then me and Alice went for dinner on our own. We went to Bagatelle, I think um that was great fabulous very lively we just rocked up we didn't have a reservation but we went 
I think we got there at like eight, half eight, and it was quiet to begin with. Um, and then, yeah, the staff started jumping on the tables and like dancing around, and I was like, nice, okay, nice. Um, so we had some food there, some more drinks, had some wine, espresso martinis, and then we had booked to go to this like club at the beach. It was fabulous. It was extremely expensive. I don't know why we paid what we paid. Um, I think it was a trick. But the guys that we met at Taboo were going there, so we bought tickets. When I tell you they were a hundred and something pound each, hundred. <laughs> Um, but we bought them when we were drunk, so it's fine. So yeah, we're at this like beach and, and outside on the sand, like dancing around. Stunning! It was stunning. It was stunning. Um, music was fabulous. At the time of my life, fell in love with a French man. Um, yeah, basically spent all night with this French man. Could I tell you his name? I could not. Um, he was lovely. He was he was very gentleman gentleman vibes and and we lost each other at one point he i think he had gone like to the bar or something i don't know but we had lost each other and i was like wandering around like a lost sheep and it turned out he was doing the same and he found my cousin and was like where is she and he she was like she's looking for you and we both were both like where is my man well he wasn't like that we were just like where is my where is my person gone it was nice so yeah, spend the evening with him. I asked him to get me a taxi this morning to come back to the hotel. And he was like, I, I don't know. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? And he said, I will drive you on my quad bike. And I said, okay, <laughs> doing it for the plot. Um, core memory, actually. Like, I, just a fabulous night. And then waking up, still a little bit drunk at 8.30 this morning putting on a helmet <laughs> and jumping on the back of a quad bike with this French man and you know what's so it's so like honestly core cool memory like we're driving on the back of the quad bike I'm hanging on for dear life because I'm like this is danger this is dangerous so I'm like squeezing him I've got no underwear on I'm like <laughs> sat bare ass on this quad bike and <laughs> He pulls over and I was like, oh God, what? He pulls over and he turns to me really seriously and goes, do you want to listen to some music? <laughs> I was on the back of this quad bike. It was like a five minute drive. Um, and he was like, do you want to listen to some music? I was like, oh, okay, like I don't think I'll be able to hear it. Thinking he was just gonna like play his phone. He gave me an AirPod, so we had an AirPod each. And he was like, what do you want to listen to? I was like, I trust you. Do you know what he played? He played, later, hear me tonight. And like it, the journey was like the whole song. So we put the airport in, and like we're just, we're just driving down the road on the quad bike in the in the Tulum sun, listening to Lady Hear Me Tonight. And I just wanted to cry. I was like, this is magic. This is magical. This is the best day. And we made it safe. So we made it here. Got back to the hotel. Had a shower. Went for breakfast. Breakfast is included, which makes it so much better because it's basically it's free it's free we, we have free breakfast so we had a coffee had a juice just so nice so nice and now we're just on the beds we're just gonna lay here all day and do absolutely nothing i'm gonna read my book dream of the French man, his name I don't know. He told me that Elise is French. I don't know whether I believe him or not. He thought I was French. It was a lie. He read to me in French. Oh, just... You know when you just have experiences and you're just like, this was a really, this was really nice. Really good one. He had a massive jacuzzi bath. And when I say like, it wasn't a jacuzzi bath, it was a jacuzzi in the bathroom. Like it was huge huge jacuzzi bath so we, we got in the jacuzzi bath at 3am <laughs> so this is why I look like this allow me um, I also lost a toenail this one um, it was wobbly it was like a wobbly tooth and I knew it was going to come off I knew and I said to Alice yesterday when we were drunk at the beach club I said how long do you reckon until my, toe, my toenail falls off 
you said nine days, I said, you're very optimistic, Alice. It fell off that day, one day. Not even a whole day, not even 24 hours. Um, so that French man is now gonna have a toenail somewhere in his house, maybe in the bath, maybe in the jacuzzi bath. A memento. <laughs> we probably spent about 500 pounds each yesterday. At least, yeah, maybe more. So we're not gonna do anything for the rest of the week. <laughs> we will just be here doing nothing. Anyway, fuck off now. I'm gonna read my book. Bye. Hola, como estas? I'm a little bit red. It's not, the lighting's making it way worse. It's not. It's not that bad. Hi. The lighting is not not my friend today. <sighs> We've had a fabulous day of doing absolutely nothing. How fabulous. So yes, we did nothing today. We literally just sat by the pool all day, which was absolutely exactly what we needed. We got some food. We had breakfast, that was yums, and just did nothing. We did absolutely nothing. And um, I'm still feeling very fragile. Are you feeling very fragile? Oh. Oh yes, mutual fragile. Um, but like that's why it's just so nice that we can do absolutely nothing today. Like I've never been so happy in my life. So we're going for dinner now. Um, we've been asked by multiple groups if we're going to go oops, oops, oops with them. We're not sure. I'm not convinced. Yes. Come cheese. This is this is because I feel like I'm with child. My stomach is really swollen and sore from probs, the drinking and the food and the Frenchman. Which bag do I want? Oh, good question. This one. This one? Yeah, for sure. We're gonna get some tacos because I just really need to get some fish tacos in me. And maybe just have a Coca-Cola, but maybe we'll see what happens. Mamazita. Mamazita. See. So nice. So that's the plan. We will go now. Goodbye. Good morning. How's it going? We go to gym. We go to gym. Um, we went to bed really early last night, like half nine. <laughs> um, but I forget that like jet lag is a thing, um, and we were still like really hungover. So I think we did. I think we did well. We went for dinner, had some tacos. I got some shrimp tacos, they were so good. Didn't drink anything last night. Couldn't couldn't face it, to be honest. Um, just read my book. We're gonna have another chill day today um, and then plan like a day trip to do tomorrow or the next day or something. You know, so we're spending so much money, everything is wildly expensive. Um, yeah. Like we had, last night we had a starter of burrata to share then three small tacos each and a coke each and it was like 50 pounds each which was very expensive um didn't quite realize like i knew it would be expensive but like this is absurd really to be honest um taxi cost like 600 pesos which i think is like 30 quid um yeah yeah it's it's basically like being in LA or Ibiza, it would seem um, ridiculous. But we're here, so we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! <laughs> what is happening? Half eight, nearly, almost. We've been up for a while, and we're going to take photos. With a hotel pool. <laughs> Before loads of people wake up and judge us. Uh, to be fair, there's a lot of people doing that here. This is, this is 
what this hotel is about. Um, so yeah, we are looking pretty for photos and then we've got yoga at half nine. Then we'll have breakfast, then we're going to a beach club. Wow, a fabulous day. A fabulous day. Yay! This hotel is so fabulous, I just cannot. Wow. We just did our morning yoga. It was so nice. Nice and stretched, we're all limbered for the day. Did it in a full face of makeup because we took photos first. And this is the breakfast view yet again. Wow. Today I've gone for, we've both actually gone for that is acai bowl. And I think we're gonna go for the quiche monster, perhaps. So nice, fabulous. afford to be in Tulum anymore. Tulum is too expensive for us. We've spent a grand each since being here. And we've still got two and a half days left. Well, I, 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 have, I have longer, but I won't be doing what Alice is making me do. She's forcing me to spend all my money. She's not, she's not listening. Nothing, nothing, my love, mi amor. I'm so tired. I haven't got drunk eyes, I've got tired eyes. I look, I look really drunk. I look stoned. I'm not. I'm just tired. What time did we wake up this morning? It was early, it was early. Anyway, I was gonna tell you about Illinois last night. It was really good. It was amazing. It was our favorite place. And they like get you to jump on the bar and like dance on the bar and we basically went there for a drink and wow, amazing. And the bar tender was giving us free shots and then he paid for our tab at the end. I don't like doing this, this is, this is how you do it, but that was really nice. We had a really good time. We looked fabulous. We did. I'm not feeling bonita now. I'm not bonita. Not bonita. We went and we took sunset photos, which was bonita. Um, then we went and ate loads of sushi. Oh, so good. Where did we go? Rosa Negra. Rosa Negra. The place that begins with a T. It's the Japanese restaurant. Wow. Tea? Tea. Yeah. 
to yeah yeah to, to, yeah Japanese sushi was wow some of the best sushi I've ever had in my life it was really yummy and then yeah we're gonna go to the to the club to the club when we were at the beach club today the lady came over and she was like we're giving free entry to pretty ladies today and we said well we are pretty ladies give it to us and she did so we're going back there now it looks like it's getting busy but we just wanted to come and drink some wine and get changed because i was in like a tight dress alice was in a really tight dress and we've been yeah we had to unpeel her from the dress um and uh, we've both been absolutely attacked by mosquitoes. Alice's legs are, yeah, it looks it looks bad, doesn't it? Your mosquito bites. They are gone. They are. My legs are gone. Her legs are gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So that's what we're going. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're having lots of fun though. Everything's working out perfectly for us. It's a bit of a joke. Everything, like even on our way back to to here, we went and bought wine and Alice was like, oh shit, I don't know if we've got a bottle opener in the hotel room. And the guy, when we went to pay, we don't know if he actually heard us or not, but he was like, oh, do you want me to open it for you? Because it's a cork. And we were like, well, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. So we did that. That's nice. And that is the story. We're having a ball day. She's just come back. Hello. Look how stunning this is, I just cannot. Hello, we are going for dinners. Sunset dinners. This is the bed. I already worn it and I didn't. But my hair's different, so it's basically a different outfit. Had a really nice day. I'm burnt. I don't know if I can even show you, but I'm back. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, bye. Oh, whoa. We have our tacos, we have our cocktails. We're in Vita. It's quite fabulous. They've got focus. have just been down for breakfast and we just sat by the pool for a bit and chilled and now we are going back to the room to get ready to go to the club the beach club we're going to canan canan can 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 um today so that's fabulous and we don't know if it's going to be a vibe vibe or just a vibe so we will see, but we're excited. This one is $60 each for some beds, and then the money can be spent on the foods and the drinks. And we fancy a little bit of champagne today. It's our, it's our last full day together. So we might get some champagne. Um, French, my French man might be joining us. We are unsure. We will see how the day goes. And then tonight we are going to Ilios, the Greek place, and we're going to look stunning. Immaculate vibes for the last full day. Immaculate vibes. We love it. And then I've decided today, after speaking with my amigas, who have been to Mexico before, and they've said to go to Bacala, I believe. Bacala. Three hour drive on the bus. So, I'm excited to know what I'm doing. Okay, we get ready now. Goodbye. Hola, buenos noches. It's our last night together in Tulum. The final night, the final night. This is the fit. I'm not actually wearing this out because it's so impractical. We're going to Ilios, which is the Greek, where you stand on the tables and you, and this is not practical for that. Like this is, I can't even, so. We're just gonna get some photos in this. And then we're going for some Greek food. Okay.
it's our last day together. We are packing. So it's so sad. And it's so not fun. I don't like packing anymore. Alright, Belle. Are you tired now? Not really. We were woken up in the oh middle of the God. night. Well, it wasn't the middle of the night. It was like 4 or 5 a.m. Because it sounded like there was a beast on the roof. Like something was in the drains. It was like something was terrorizing the little. The room, the hut. Um, it sounded like someone was coming in and out, and they were on the roof, and they were in the drain. Don't know what it was. I think that's why they gave us that dream patcher. It was actually to save us from the beast. Yeah, probably. So, yeah, we're just packing up now. Um, what did we do yesterday? We went to Canaan. Ca yeah. um, beach Club. Don't go there. The service was absolutely oh, awful. Yeah. It was really, really bad. Um, it was a nice little beach, um, but yeah, it wasn't good. The um, French guy and his friend came to join us, which was fine, and then just chilled at the beach. Yeah. Yeah. And now, I might move, I might stay, I don't know, I don't know what I do. I don't know, I don't know. I think probably move, I think probably move. But also I need to look in some of the shops for work clothes because the clothes that I have bought with me are not appropriate for work. So I need to read through the contract and the rules and stuff and see what I need and probably buy here. Because I don't know what the shops are like in Bacalar. I, I'm planning to maybe go to Bacalar. Um, but the Frenchie said yesterday that it wasn't good and you only need one night there but my two friends who have been have told me very different so i'm not listening to the french guys because all the french guys know absolutely nothing yeah okay i'm I, we've been bitten everywhere like i knew it'd be bad but it's just really fucking annoying there's new ones every day they're everywhere it's just okay because it's only gonna get worse for me when i go for walking tee hee hee <laughs> It's the last breakfast. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really sad. Oh no, it's been so fabulous. We've just got. I got some fruit and granola, and then Alice got chia pudding, and now she's having mozzarella and tomato toast, and I'm having creamy eggs. And then they gave us free French toast because it's our last day, and they like us. so much fun and Alice is flying. Alice leaves at 2, we check out at 12, it's 10.15 now so we've got some time to chill, finish packing and I will figure out what my next move is. What was your favourite part of the holiday? Oh it might have been to boot. To boot? Yeah. What about you? On the first day? Mm -hmm. very first day. I think also that was my favourite day when we did taboo and then bagatelle or whatever it's called for dinner and then the full moon party. Yeah, that was a mad day. Yeah. I can't believe that was all on the same that day. That was the same. That was such I a good that day. Was the same day. This is same thing. Me and Frenchie at the beach yesterday. This is who we met at the on that day. I was just bitter side like, and it went really hard. Mm -hmm. So fun. He texted me at 2 o'clock this morning. Saying what? Are you awake? <laughs> Come out for a second. No, I'm not awake, stupid boy. Stupid boy. But I did also like the Baga Bagaloo Beach Club. That was quite nice too. And even just chilling at the pool when we did like the snow taste swimming. Um, I didn't get a good, very, very good video, but that's okay. We did what we had to do. There's a video where I'm like swimming. One. Yeah, I got a few good ones with you, I think. Yeah. I was like swimming, and then on the way up, instead of like kicking my legs, I just like lay <laughs> back like a corpse. She was a dead one. <laughs> yeah, you just look so silly. So stupid. Um, 
yeah but we didn't actually go and do any of the like things to do like we didn't go to the ruins we didn't go to the big cenotes we did nothing we, we just are, chilled we are absolute bougie bitches yeah. we just sat so fun anyway goodbye